Welcome folks to another episode of the Newsish Wisdom Wednesdays with myself, Timber, and today I'm sitting in the studio with Maria. Maria, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, yourself, Timber. Good, good, can't complain. So Maria's going to be telling us a little bit about the business and management faculty. Um, I've got a couple of questions for you, are you ready? Yes, I think so. Cool. <laughs> so, our first question is, what are the programs within the business and management faculty? We have, have actually have a lot of programs that we offer our students. We have programs that offer the further education and then also higher ed. So we have project management, human resources, financial accounting, tourism, and then we also have a higher certificate in our uh, higher ed brand, um, and then office administration. Mm. So there's quite a lot going on sure, in our faculty. <laughs> it's, a full, it's a full one. Um, it's a full basket indeed. So why is it necessary for the programs in the business and management faculty to be aligned with the needs of this 4IR, the, the fourth industrial revolution? Yeah, there's been so many talks about 4IR all the time. But if you look at the broad categories mm. um, within our domain, in the business faculty, we look at uh, really four big skills categories mm. which is like workplace readiness yes. that will be your literacy your numeracy uh, presentation skills that a person should have to present itself in a workplace environment mm. and then we have our soft skills we look at communication critical thinking and then of course technical skills technical skills within our uh, faculty is perfect in our project management environment and also in financial accounting because mm. it gives you that critical thinking abilities and then entrepreneurial skills of course you have to be innovative you have to be creative so yes business faculty is not boring we offer you all those critical skills that you will be required to have actually all that abilities in the four hour Sure, and those are, those are the building blocks essentially to, to get going. So how does the project management program prepare, prepare students for the PM Box 7 um, standards? Yes, we are also very excited about that. So PMI is planning to release that end of 2020. It hasn't been released as yet. So currently we're still working on the sixth edition, but we know that the 10 knowledge areas will fall away and that's going to be replaced with uh, uh, eight performance domains. Okay. So in essence, what it means, there will be a shift from process-based project management to principle-based project delivery. So it's quite big changes that's coming, but completely exciting. We can't wait. So there's a lot to look forward to in the future of the, the PM Box 7. So stay tuned. Um, lots coming that way. So my next question is, um, we're speaking about the fourth industrial revolution. My, I want to know, is there a future for HR professionals in this, in this fourth industrial revolution? Absolutely. So many people are talking about robots is going to replace everything. Mm. But I mean, you can never replace human touch and human interaction really with the robot. So you will always need that. And uh, yes, there are repetitive information that you can take away because we're looking at the fast paced, everything is changing so quickly. So yes, we have to look at those factors because it's time, it's money. And, and those, I mean, but there's still the human touch will always remain. And I think that's more exciting for us in the HR environment that's to come. And the focus area where we're going to shift more and focus what's really neat in the HR environment. Yeah. So you're freeing up, freeing up your time to focus on what really is important and uh, what really matters. Absolutely, yes. No, cool. So how does a, a higher certificate in management develop a student for future managerial positions? Yes, our program, that is the one in the higher ed um, band and then also it, it will lay the foundation for people that really want to go in the management positions. Mm. It will lead at, well actually teach you that management skills, yes. the practicals, the practical skills. So it's also very exciting, it's a brand new program that's coming, first enrollments in 2021, so yes we can't wait, I think that's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm really getting excited about the year 2021 because it sounds like CTU um, has a whole lot of things up their sleeve. Um, last question before we go though, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the finance programs? Yes, our finance programs is actually based in three broad categories mm. where we have our financial accounting and that will cover things like your tax, bookkeeping to trial balance, mm. um, all that serious stuff, the reporting. Um, 
And then we have our office administration for a person that really wants to go into the office part, uh, administration part of it. And that will give you from the start to end knowledge and also practical skills that you will have to enter that world. And then our financial management, that will you will gain all that knowledge that you can actually start up your own business. So that will also falls in with the entrepreneurial skills that you, you need. Um, in the fourth industrial revolution. Oh, cool. Well, I think we've we've learned quite a lot. But if you want to find out more, you can definitely go and check out uh, the CTU website or just phone Maria. She knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for that compliment. <laughs> well, Maria, thank you for your time today. Thank you. And uh, yes, everyone at home, if you want to find out more about business and management, check out the website. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of exciting things coming in the year 2021. So stay tuned and make sure you keep yourself future ready.